Dear students, it is very much desirable to convert the marginal economic functions into their original versions. Using integration, we can do that. And in this lecture, we shall learn the same thing. As you can see, we are talking about the cost function. We are going to convert a marginal cost function into its total version. Let us see how we can do that. We have this given information, and this is borrowed from the book of Alpha C. Chiang. We can easily find that in the uh, examples. This is a marginal cost function, and this uh, bar is uh, showing this thing. This is the uh, exact function, which is exponential in nature. And in this case, we have told that the fixed cost jo hai, it is 90. It is there, and we have CQ, which is to be found. That is the total cost function. We are in search of that. Now, this is the marginal function that we are uh, integrating because we know the marginal function, when integrated, becomes the total function. This is the left-hand side and this is the right-hand side. Uh, we can deal with the right-hand side very easily because uh, we have been doing the integration of natural exponential functions by using the natural exponential function rule. So, this is that function rule that we were talking about, the natural exponential function rule. Uh, the left-hand side, it, it should become CQ, right? Because the derivative will be cancelled out with the integral sign. And the right-hand side, as we were talking about, uh, it was the exponential function. And it can be easily uh, executed. Here you can see, we have applied the natural exponential function rule. And I leave this on you because we have done this before. And after applying this rule, we will get this, which is the final result of the uh, cost function that we are looking for. However, there is a small glitch in that, and that glitch is the uh, lack of definite uh, result. And the lack of definite result is due to this arbitrary constant. Uh, this is something we can get rid of by using the given condition. You will see that CF, that is the fixed cost, is given. Let us see how. And just to put in more exact words, this is the general solution of the total cost function because of this arbitrary coefficient constant. Now, as we have talked about earlier, that this is the fixed cost. And the fixed cost definition hai, it says that the uh, fixed cost is still there even if there is no output. So, with that virtue, we can do that. And that is, with no output, there is some cost. And that cost is 90. Uh, so, we can put 0 in place of 90. Laga sakte that is, cost when the output is 0, that is the fixed cost. Right hand side, you can see that it will be the same. And when we further solve it, it will be C naught. And on the right hand side, where it was 0, it will solve it because we have Q's value 0. And C naught value, which we have taken in the same way, it will be the same value 10 plus C. And now, if we have this value, it will be the same value. Now, if we have this value, it will be the same value. Now, if we have this value, it will be the same value. Now, if we have this value, it will be the same value. It says C0 is equal to 10 plus C. Right? And 10 plus C as CQ, Q is equal to 0. That is, fixed cost, jab, uh, j fixed cost tab akar karti hai when the output is 0, just like mentioned here. Is liye is ki jaga, C naught ki jaga, jo humne CF, that is the fixed cost ki value, uh, dekhi thi, hum usko substitute karenge, ye aap dekh rahe, humne usko substitute kiya. So, Cf minus 10, which is our small c ki value, jayegi, which is 80. So, these brief steps you can do easily. And which is the virtue, hai, again I will tell you, is simple that there is fixed cost, which is given value. And that we can use C0 as an initial condition, use kar sakte hai, because cost at no output. And we can use karke hum 10 minus, karenge, jo ke additional, and we can use small c ki value. Aa now, this small c ki value finally we have, so we can use it as a definite solution for the cost function. And it is enclosed in the box. Now, if we want to plot it, that is also possible. Here, you can see the output ko 
कंसिडर किया हुआ है ऑन एक्स एक्सिस और कॉस्ट जो कि उस पर डिपेंड करती है ऑन वाई एक्सिस उसको प्लॉट किया है और हम देख रहे हैं कि ये वो इंटरसेप्ट है एटी फिक्स कॉस्ट को जो रिप्रेजेंट कर रहा है और यहाँ से देर इज़ अ शार्प राइज एंड दैट इज़ एक्सपोनेंशियल इन नेचर और आप देख रहे हैं उसका जो राइज है वो एक्सपोनेंशियल है बिकॉज वो एक्सपोनेंशियल फंक्शन पे बेस करती है सो so, जैसे जैसे आउटपुट बढ़ेगी इन एन एक्सपोनेंशियल फैशन वी विल सी एन इंक्रीज इन द कॉस्ट सो दिस इज हाउ बाई यूजिंग इंटीग्रेशन वी कैन फाइंड द टोटल कॉस्ट फंक्शन फ्रॉम द मार्जिनल कॉस्ट फंक्शन थैंक यू